Hey, thanks for tuning in to YouTube Physics. <laughs> if you uh, can't find the uh, link in an email, you can just go to Google and put in PHET circuit. That should be the first hit, and you just can click that, and then, then you're going to click this little arrow, and ba bam, you get there. If you are absent or unconscious during the last part of class, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll go in more depth if you were in class. You just want to know what you need screenshots of. So I've got a circuit set up here. My expectations are that when you set the circuit up, you're going to click conventional current, because that's what we use in high school and college physics. Um, you can click labels and values so you can see the values of the resistance. And then you're going to go into these and change these so that they're unique, like I did. So don't, like this one actually is the default resistance for, for a light bulb. but you can use these arrows or drag this slider to change it. And, you know, do notice this is a series circuit, so the current's got one pathway. It goes through one light bulb, then the other. As I increase the resistance of one, the current in both ammeters goes down. And so these are ideas I'm hoping you can pay attention to what's happening and play around and make some assessments of what's going on. If I change this to, you know, 20, so it's 20, 20, these guys are overall 40 together, right? Because it's one after the other, 40 ohms total resistance in this circuit. If you took 12 volts divided by 40 ohms, you'd get 0.3 amps. Um, but essentially, the screenshot you want to take, something like this with your unique circuit, okay, not this circuit, with your unique circuit, you've got to hold these guys over to get that reading. I want to see readings on this, and I want to see that value there, okay? That's one screenshot. M make yours, you can do a lot to make it unique. You can only pull out two ammeters. Uh, if you make a series circuit with more than two light bulbs, that's okay. Uh, here's one. It's a different one, or a different series circuit. I turned up the voltage of the battery. I put a switch in. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And so for this one, I'm concerned about the voltage. So what I want you to see is that, first of all, you pull the voltmeter. I'm going to put this back so you can see. Pull it out, right? And then you've got these little doodads here. You touch them to either side of the light bulb. And you get a reading. Notice that it's a 60-volt battery. That only gets 28 volts. Okay, the idea that I'm trying to get you to discover here, <laughs> and you know, telling you what you need to discover just to be explicit, is that the the voltage boost that the battery gives a circuit, 60 volts in my case, is equal to the voltage drops. We often say the the voltage reductions as the current goes through each light bulb, 32 volts across this one. Notice how those two numbers will add up to 60. I want you to see that, and you're going to take a screenshot of this so that I can see your values. I want to see values on those two voltmeters, and I want to see the values on that that um, Again, if you don't click that, it won't put the values on there, right? But have some fun with it. I really think if you didn't have a chance to play around with this, some of you sent in great circuits last Tuesday, um, but you can play around with this, see what happens when you do certain things and how the circuit, you know, short circuits and things like that. And you get fires on the on this. Not fires in your house, but fires here. Um, so a screenshot of this, and that part is easy, all right? Um, so if you are absent, if you weren't absent, you're done, right? You can you can stop this. But if you were absent, you're going to click this, right, and start pulling out parts. And you did this already for the assignment due Tuesday, but I just wanted to review it with you from the beginning. Um, and you're going to, and I like the circuit sort of squared off like the ones you saw before, right? So I'm actually just building this with you, right? So this would, I'm going to build a series circuit where I connect this up like that. And the current's going to come out of this battery, go through this light bulb. I want conventional. I want conventional current when we get it going. Um, and now I'm going to bring another wire. And I'm just going to, you know, again, I like them squared off a little bit so I can drag this to make it longer. And then one more wire will complete the circuit. Okay, hooray. We get it there. Now, again, to, you know, we're going to show values and then you can click on these to actually change the value like I'm asking you to do. And you it make it so that you can kind of see how the math is working out. Again, drag your ammeter out, drag another ammeter out, and put it at a different spot in the circuit. And you can see, oops, what happened to my ammeter? I don't know. Okay, so you can see how the current is the same. That's the that's an idea that on Monday you're going to be responsible to pick up on and get answering questions about. Um, and backtrack to see the voltmeter one. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching, and email me if you're having trouble or you have a question. Take care.